Hi, I'm Tim Torres, tech editor at Tech Times. I'm Jason Serafino, editor at Tech Times. And this is the first edition of Project Crowdfund, in which we take a critical look at all the crowdfund ideas that are happening around in the crowdfund sphere. And we're going to weigh in on the technical and cultural merits of these projects. And with St. Patrick's Day around the corner, we're going to take a look at some projects that have at least three of these themes in mind, including Irish, green and beer. Mm -hmm. And the first project we're going to look at is the Active Box. It's an eco-friendly system for cooling beer. Now, I have no idea how this actually works. All I know is that beer gets cold and everyone loves cold beer. Um, unfortunately, it ha as of this date, it hasn't raised a single euro or dollar, whatever denomination you want to use, towards its goal. But it's eco-friendly, it makes beer cold, it really should appeal to most people. Yeah, plus it keeps the earth green. That's, yeah. that's the, yeah, the green theme there. Good. Right. Uh, the most important part is if you donate $10, you get original Slavic beer mailed to you. So that's delicious. That sounds pretty good. Um, and once you drink that beer, you might want to mint afterwards, and that's what the next thing is for. It's a uh, breathometer. A breathometer, like a, breath, like a breathalyzer, but for your breath. It keeps it minty fresh. Uh, it's by a guy named Charles Michael Yim. This is the only project we're talking about today that has blown way past its goal. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, what was the number? It's at $79,000, and its original goal was only $25,000, so yeah. this, this this one is way in, in the green. And you can see why. It's a great video, great production quality, the people look trustworthy. Mm -hmm. it's, uh... Basically, it measures your breath and right. your hydration levels and sees if you need a mint, and on St. Patrick's Day, the day after St. Patrick's Day, that could kind of come in handy. Mm. Uh, another handy thing for St. Patty's Day could be headwear, headgear, because mm -hmm. if you're going on a pub crawl, People pe people take spills, mm -hmm. so this, that's what this is for. This is the Second Skull Impact Absorption Technology. Uh, it's only made six hundred dollars out of its twenty-five k goal, so it's not it, quite. Yeah, there's a little bit of work to do. Yeah. yeah, but it's a good project. It's a noble project. Mm -hmm. Get something the head. Yeah, and for athletes, this could be great. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's got it's a little bit to go yet, but it might be the most logical project out of all these. Right. Uh, the final one we're looking at is the Typhoon F1. It's billed as the world's first flying sports car. Um, it's a great idea. Everyone wants a flying car. So far though, however, it's only raised 790 of its uh, $250,000 goal, so people might not be ready to crowdfund a flying car just yet. Yeah, especially this kind of technology. Like, yeah. I don't know if crowdfunding is really the appropriate venue. Mm -hmm. But it's a great thing. idea. It's yeah. just, it's it's ambi It's the most ambitious of all these projects. If you're at a bar with your buddies on St. Patrick's Day, what are you going to be talking about? Flying cars. Yeah. Once you get a few beers deep, that's going to come up. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I always talk about aeronautical aviation when I'm drunk. So. Yeah. So it's only logical. Yeah, so on that note, have a uh, happy and safe St. Patty's Day from all of us at Tech Times. Mm -hmm.